Hey y'all, welcome back to the garage. Today, we gotta fix some carnage we had at the last tractor pull. Um, just a little bit, nothing real major, uh, but we do have to get it fixed. And uh, we also bought some new toys for the garage. So uh, we'll be showing you them too. So uh, y'all hang out and uh, we'll get working on the uh, carnage. All right, y'all. The carnage we had was not with Plan B. He's sitting back there, doing great, uh, running great. It was with the uh, tugger. The uh, one front tire apparently was low, and I didn't notice it. It uh, rolled the tire off. They, they do have tubes, but it rolled the tire off the rim, and when it did that, it went down and actually cut the tire where the where the uh, tire mounts onto the rim seals against the rim and now it won't uh, it won't hold the tire on so when you put air in it it just kind of blows the sidewall of the tire out past the rim and um, yeah I don't I don't want to drive it like that but we do have a donor here which is going to be the tugger 2.0 once we gather some more parts but uh, it's got some fairly decent tires on it they're not the good knobbies like what's on tugger right now but uh, they will do until we get some new ones so we're gonna pull them off and swap these around and uh, we'll be uh, back in business so let's uh, get set up and we'll take care of that all right y'all before we get busy on the uh, fixing tugger here we're going to uh, do our little tool tool time thing here uh, First thing we picked up was this SKF uh, impact fitting cleaner. This is for actually forcing grease into zerk fittings. Uh, sometimes they go dry if you guys live in a salty or uh, dirty in environment and uh, can't get a grease fitting to take grease. This tool here will take care of that. And uh, uh, if you ever done like kingpins on big trucks, sometimes they, they're hard to get to take grease. This thing here will take care of that. So uh, let me get the uh, wrapper off of it. We'll get it opened up and uh, I'll show you the pieces, parts, and how it works. All right, y'all. Uh, here's the tool itself. This is the uh, plunger, syringe, whatever you want to call it. Um, you got a rubber line here and you got a regular grease fitting, you know, a couple right there. Uh, Kind of the way this thing works is you put grease into it and the way i do it is uh, put the hose on it put a grease fitting in here on this end you know well i'm sorry on there put that on there and then put the grease fitting on like a zerk fitting on here uh, i've got an adapter at the shop that will thread right on there the gr grease that grease fitting on there and uh, just use the grease gun fill it up that this plunger here will come out get it pulled out here oh pulled it out too far sorry uh, see it pulls out like that and then all you do is you can either put the rubber line on here and then I, some people use this fitting here I don't like to uh, but uh, it, it does work um, I prefer to plumb right into the grease fitting um, I've got adapters that will go from this end here down and screw into the zerk fitting that way there's no no bypass but uh, yeah you just hold this in your hand take you a nice slammer and pound this thing in as quick and as hard as you can and it Basically, high pressure injects that grease right into the right into the fitting or right into the joint. So, um, 
a lot of times, you know, you don't need these for like ball joints and tie rod ends and stuff like that. But they do work good for king pins or pins that need to be greased. Um, sometimes they'll get some hard grease in there and you just, your grease gun just won't push, push through it. So this tool here does it. So, all right. Um, let's do uh, one more little tool. All right, y'all. Next thing we got here is we picked up the Hercules 20 volt variable speed grease gun. Uh, it's got the uh, 10,000 max pressure. Uh, so, uh, you know, five ounce minimum flow rate. Uh, it says 20 cartridges per charge um, with the five with the five amp hour battery. So we did pick up a five amp hour battery. Um, it's actually in the truck. I've been using it, but uh, we picked up the uh, charger there for it too. And uh, the cool thing about this is this tool here, I believe, was like 160 some dollars, and the charger and the 5 amp hour battery was like $170 if you bought them all separate. There was a deal going on, and I don't know if it's still going on or not, but if you buy the charger and a 5 amp hour battery for $99, you got a tool for free. I've been wanting one of these. I've got the uh, Milwaukee version at, at the uh, my daily job, and I love it. I love having the flexibility of the cordless. And uh, it just seems like it works a lot better. So uh, I went ahead and picked one up for 99 bucks. You can't beat it. Because like I said, this thing here alone runs like $160 for the bare tool. No battery. So, you know, it was kind of a no-brainer. So let me get this pulled out of the box and uh, we'll look it over. All right, y'all. Kind of got you. We're kind of set up on the hood plan B here. So i to let you guys see it come right out of the box maybe oh we got a strap this is the only end of the box that opens so. ah there it comes there it comes She's pretty well assembled, looks like. Find the opening of the bag. Alright. There we go. Yeah. So it's got a nice I think this is a longer hose than if it's on my Milwaukee. You know. Nice tip on it. So feels, I mean, once I get a battery on it, it's not real heavy. Actually, it feels a little lighter than my Milwaukee. It's got the safety switch on the side, so you can't bump it. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Got the nice uh, storage there, just like the Milwaukee. So, uh, I mean, it, it looks basically the same as uh, what the Milwaukee is. So... I don't have any grease right here right now for it. It's got grease in the uh, plunger, so it must have been tested. Awesome. So, of course we'll be we'll be running the Schaefer's red and tacky grease. So, all right, awesome. You know, nice little instruction book. Owner's manual, safety manual, uh, variable speed. Uh, oh, it's got even got a light on it too. Didn't even see that. So, yeah. All right. You know, we'll read this off camera. But yeah, there's what we got, y'all. Oh, and that's there's where your little strap hooks on. Bear on that handle. If you want a strap. I don't think we'll need the strap for it, but, uh, you know, hey, never know. 
So, cool. All right, let's get uh, let's get to working on the tugger. All right, y'all. Let's get these tires pulled off. Uh, these things are like super simple. Just wiggle the cap off, and then there's a cotter pin, cotter loop key, or whatever you want to call them, hair clip, and whatever. Over here. Get that straightened out. I'm using side cutters. Apparently, I didn't get it straightened out enough. There's a lot of grease on this one. Which ain't a bad thing. Alright. Now she pull right up out. Maybe. Come on, baby. Alright. And then just... Just wiggle the wheel off. Let me grab a couple rags, get this cleaned up in a light so I can see what's going on. We'll bring you guys back. Alright y'all, there's a little bit of a lip worn on the bottom edge of this shaft. And the uh, inner race, the bearing's kind of catching on a little bit. So, let me grab this little dead blow action. So. He's coming slowly. All right, I'm gonna shut the camera off. We might start having some bad words, but uh, I'm gonna get this off and then we'll bring you guys back. All right, y'all, very next tap of the hammer. That thing come right off her. No big deal. So, uh, I'm going to do the other side over there and get the ones off of the tugger, uh, the current tugger, and get these swapped around, and we'll bring you guys back because uh, it's ain't very interesting. So, be right back. All right, y'all. Uh, hopefully, you can kind of see here what's going on. Uh, there's a chunk of that come off of it. Uh, it's chewed up pretty good, and I don't know if it, maybe it's the uh, the tires. This rim doesn't have enough of a lip to hold these tires or what, but uh, I'm going to kind of look to see if I can find some other uh, rims that uh, are that size to go on these tires because these, I mean, I think we can save that, you know. That's not a big deal. Um if we can get a tire that has a wider lip on it and the same bearing in the side, you know, we'll just do go that way. But, uh, yeah, so uh, that's it. Um, I'm going to throw this on the uh, old tugger, the old uh, 2.0 tugger, and uh, put it outside, and we'll uh, be ready to go for the other, for the poles. All right, y'all, there you go. That's what we had going on in the shop today. Fixed a little carnage on the uh, tugger. Uh, like I said, not real big. Did our uh, new toy show off or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't want to call it showing off. It's just uh, something I've been wanting. Uh, could afford it. It was a great deal, so we uh, we did it. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the video for this week. Uh, we are going pulling uh, Holloway again. Got uh, uh, Harrison County Little Hustlers uh, Saturday night. Pulls, uh, weigh in step five, pulls at six. Uh, when you guys see this, it'll probably probably already be Saturday. Um, so, you know, if you see it and you want to come down, come on down. 
Holloway, Ohio. Appreciate y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, catch y'all later.